Last week here on SmackDown, the ring general Gunther returned to action for the first time since WrestleMania, and it was yet another victory for your world heavyweight champion, choking out Santos Escobar in the middle of the ring, but it only led to a confrontation with an uninvited guest, that being the badass, Braun Breaker, who made his presence felt and seemingly called out Gunther for a match for the world heavyweight title. And after Breaker has recently raked up victories against Edge, Cody Rhodes, and Randy Orton, the badass has become undeniable. Which is why coming up on Saturday night, April the 13th, Breaker gets his wish. It will be Braun Breaker, one on one with the Ring General, Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship in San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash. Hey, wait a minute, wait, get, get some cameras here at ringside. What the hell is going on? Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton. Wait a minute, all hell is breaking loose here in Providence, Rhode Island. Cody and Orton, who we thought settled their issues back in WrestleMania, proving over the last two weeks that their issues are far, far from over. Well, this is an unexpected brawl breaking here at ringside. Cody wanting to get a piece of Randy Orton and break it apart the announce table. We need to get some help out here before these two superstars tear each other limb from limb. Well, Randy Orton cost Cody a matchup against Breaker two weeks ago. Cody returned the favor, costing Orton last week. Braun Breaker obviously wreaking the benefits, but it's only reignited the issues between Orton and Cody that much more. I don't know who started this thing, where it started here in the arena, but obviously issues far from over as pandemonium has taken place here at ringside. And Orton throwing Cody right into the corner of the announce table here. Cody may be in trouble as the Viper looks coiled and ready to strike. I don't speak too soon. Cody Rhodes dishing it right back to the Apex Predator. This is not a match, ladies and gentlemen. All hell breaking loose as Friday Night SmackDown has come on the air. Backlash coming up two weeks from tomorrow. Tensions running high in the SmackDown locker room. Oh, wait a minute here. Cody might have signaled for the announce table. Randy Orton may be the one who's going to institute it. Oh, no. Come on, Randy Orton. We've seen this in the past. Randy Orton using his surroundings to aid him in an assault of the American Nightmare. An RKO for the announce table. God damn it. Randy Orton laying waste to the American Nightmare. Let us take another look. Randy Orton, the RKO through the announce table. These issues far from over, ladies and gentlemen, but we gotta try to refocus here. We have a loaded show tonight in Providence, Rhode Island. And of course, coming up as advertised in your main event, a gauntlet matchup to determine Shayna Baszler's opponent at back Backlash. Excuse me, you may be noticing Dakota Kai missing from this graphic, no longer able to participate in tonight's gauntlet match due to injuries received last week by hands of the Queen of Spades. Who is gonna be a replacement and who will go on to challenge Baszler for the goal that Backlash? We find out later tonight. Oof. Well, now that we got that over with, I, I, a chaotic start to SmackDown to say the least, ladies and gentlemen. We're live in the middle of the pavilion. Providence, Rhode Island, and we got tag team action on hand. We are just over two weeks away from Backlash in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And we are over, I should say, almost less than two weeks away from the WWE Draft Lottery as well, taking place Monday night, April the 8th on Raw. Nonetheless, tag team action kicking us off here on Friday Night SmackDown, and it is certainly gonna be an exciting one with these cruiserweights set to go at it. Don't blink, you might miss it. And his partner from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds, Axia. Well, as we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 Draft Lottery coming your way Monday night, April the 8th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's a live premiere event, so turn on those notifications. That way you do not miss it. It's happening on Monday Night Raw. It's gonna be a night that shakes the WWE to its very core. As we go home to Backlash that week, 
all of WWE may be flipped up on its head at the WWE Draft Lottery. Nonetheless, the ever-exciting Axiom, the up-and-comer Nathan Frazier, locking horns here tonight with the Latino World Order. Santos Escobar looking to bounce back from his loss from Guther last week, but the LWO collectively looking to bounce back from their loss back on WrestleMania Sunday. Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio went 2v2 against Grayson Waller and Austin Theory back on WrestleMania Sunday. It was, of course, for the WWE Tag Team Championships as well as the finals of the SmackDown bracket of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Although the LWO put up an amazing effort in AT&T Stadium, ultimately the Aussie icon Grayson Waller as well as Austin Theory walked away with the gold. Now LWO starting from the back of the line, looking to go back to the drawing board and build some momentum. I am sure those two men are looking for an opportunity at the WWE Tag Team titles. It could start right here tonight in Providence, Rhode Island. This should be a hell of a way to kick things off. Well, maybe I shouldn't even say kick things off here on SmackDown after the pandemonium that just took place a few moments ago. Just trying to get this show staged and Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton all hell breaking loose. I know we said that multiple times, but it's the truth. All hell breaking loose here in the arena. And Randy Orton, RKO to Cody Rhodes right through the announce table. I don't know what is going to be next. And that story between the American Nightmare and the Viper, but they continue to write chapters each and every week here on SmackDown. You thought WrestleMania was going to be the end of it. Obviously, those issues far, far from settled. Nonetheless, Axiom and Nathan Frazier coming together tonight to take on the LWO, Rey Mysterio, and Santos Escobar. This is, of course, ahead of the gauntlet matchup that will be your main event tonight. And we breezed over trying to get the show staged here tonight, but we have a six-woman gauntlet matchup on hand. Unfortunately, Dakota Kai originally scheduled for that matchup. Went one-on-one -on -one with the champion in a non-title match last week. Did not come away unscathed. Dakota Kai with a nagging injury and will be unable to compete in tonight's gauntlet matchup. A replacement will be made. Who that replacement will be, we'll find out later tonight in the gauntlet main event. Nonetheless, Axiom and Rey Mysterio going out in the middle of this matchup. No strangers to each other. Axiom also made his SmackDown debut about one year ago at this time, challenging Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight Championship. And look at these guys go! Frazier and Axiom looking to divide and conquer here in the pavilion. Axiom knocking Rey off the apron. Frazier taking care of the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Frazier over the top. Unfortunately, a little bit overzealous. Rey Mysterio's been in that situation before. Mysterio springboard splitting the difference. Bulldog! Obviously, the LWO, the more experienced team tonight, but take nothing away from Nathan Frazier and Axiom, two extremely exciting stars in the cruiserweight division, but could be looking to break out. They could start here tonight on SmackDown. Another tag made to Escobar. Now Santos, who I'm sure, is motivated to get back in the win column tonight, not only after the LWO's loss at WrestleMania, but of course after being choked out by the ring general Guther just seven nights ago. Now Escobar, keeping it simple with a suplex. Great tag team action on hand here on SmackDown, but still to come tonight in Providence, Rhode Island. The one and only Ricochet, he wants another shot at AJ Styles in the United States Championship. Styles saying you gotta go through the OC to do it. Machine Gun Carl Anderson stepping up to the plate. He will meet the human highlight reel Ricochet right here on SmackDown later tonight. Escobar shoving Frazier. I should say Frazier shoving Escobar off his back in a nice swing blade. Bet he learned that from his mentor, the man who taught him everything he knows, Seth freaking Rollins, who currently resides on Monday Night Raw. However, could reside here on Friday Night SmackDown or vice versa. We get to the draft lottery a week from Monday. Certainly an exciting time 
here in the WWE. A lot may change over the next couple of weeks, but I'll tell you one thing that certainly remains the same is the always exciting Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio soaring through the skies. Tag made to Axiom and he takes down Rey. These two luchadors going at it. And the mysterious Axiom taking down the man of mystery himself, Rey Mysterio. As we mentioned, these two men, no strangers to each other, as one year ago, this month that Axiom made his SmackDown debut, he made it by accepting an open challenge from the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. Here comes Rey, beautiful, into the cover. LWO victory on the horizon, not just yet, it's a shoulder up from Axiom. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on a second. Ladies, I'm being told that Cody Rhodes has been taken out of the arena tonight in an ambulance and is on his way to a local hospital to get checked out after that RKO through the announce table. You hate to see it. This is the second time now that Cody Rhodes has been taken out of the arena by Randy Orton by an ambulance. You absolutely hate to see it. Things have gotten way out of control between the Apex Predator and the American Nightmare. And unfortunately, Cody Rhodes is feeling the brunt of it tonight. Well, if we get any updates, we'll be sure to let you know. Cody Rhodes on his way to a hospital, but unfortunately, just gonna have to remain to be seen. Trying to focus in on the action. I think Nathan Fraser, Santos Escobar are going out at ringside. Axiom right now has got Rey Mysterio worse for wear. Beautiful springboard. Axiom not looking to lay down of a Hall of Famer tonight. Goes behind, under hook with the German. Rey Mysterio may be in trouble. The Hall of Famer may have his bell rung. Axiom looking to take advantage. Here he comes, what a thrust kick to the jaw. My goodness. Is he gonna get him here? He got him. Wow. What an upset by Axiom and Nathan Frazier. You got a feel for the LWO. Bad luck on their side as of late. The Hall of Famer getting his lights turned off by a beautifully executed kick from Axiom. LWO's loss are these two young men's gain. What an upset here on SmackDown. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us, and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday, only on TikTok. The road to Backlash continues here on SmackDown, and Backlash is coming your way Saturday night, April the 13th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is a live premiere event. Turn on those post notifications, that way you never miss these epic events each and every month. But of course, we are back on SmackDown here in Providence, Rhode Island. The whole shebang, Johnny Gargano, set for action. He's gonna have his hands full with the devious, downright devilish, Iris Ace, J.D. McDonough, who has been getting his hands dirty as of late here on SmackDown. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 100. J.D. McDonough just two weeks ago picked up a victory over Wesley and instituted a beatdown on Wesley at ringside afterwards. That was, of course, 48 hours removed from another beatdown on the Cruiserweight Champion Ilya Dragunov that happened over on TikTok on Velocity. McDonough's intentions are clear. He wants one more go around with the Mad Dragon. He has challenged Ilya Dragunov not once but twice in one-on-one -on -one matches for the Cruiserweight Championship has been successful each and every time. I should say unsuccessful each and every time. McDonough clearly does not have the Cruiserweight Championship around his waist, but that is the goal that the Irish Ace has in mind. Get the championship, take it away from Ilya Dragunov. 
Certainly a task easier said than done. And will McDonough earn himself another opportunity? Remains to be seen. Certainly, whether you like him or not, is going down the correct path of doing so. McDonough may have put a target on his back a few weeks ago on Velocity when he ambushed Ilya Dragunov, used a steel chair on the Mad Dragon, and beat down the Cruiserweight Champion. I've not seen Ilya Dragunov since, but J.D. McDonough continuing to try to carve his path as number one contender. But will he be able to get through, dare I say, one of his toughest challenges as of late in Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano? And Gargano's been somebody who hasn't had the best of luck since getting drafted to SmackDown last year. I'm sure a part of the 2025, excuse me, 2024, 2025 season that has kicked off over the last few weeks. I am sure Gargano is coming in with a new blueprint. Who will succeed more than ever this year. Easier said than done when you're in there with somebody as devilish and dangerous as JD McDonough, but it may be anybody's ball game here on SmackDown. What a night it has been already. All the action between Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton. As we mentioned, Cody Rhodes taken to a local hospital. Still have yet to receive any update. Hopefully Cody is doing all right. And what about what happened moments ago? Massive upset. You got to give credit to Axiom and Nathan Frazier picking up the victory over the LWO. Johnny Gargano looking for victory here tonight against J.D. McDonough. Gano's first action he has seen since the latter match at WrestleMania where he tried his hand at winning the Cruiserweight Championship. Obviously did not go the way of the whole shebang, but every time you step foot in that ring, a chance to change your momentum. Got to have short-term memory in this business. Do not live in the past and hang your hat on those losses. Gargano looking to start a new here in Providence, Rhode Island. At the expense of J.D. McDonough, who might have got his bell rung that time off the turnbuckle. Gargano not to be taken lightly. Grand Slam champion during his days in NXT, former WWE World Tag Team champion as well. Gargano, I don't know what he was going for that time. Obviously didn't get all of it, but got enough to knock J.D. McDonough off his feet. As long as the momentum is in the corner of Gargano, I am sure he is not complaining. Great action on hand and still so much more to come tonight. Carl Anderson of the OC taking on the human highlight reel ricochet plus Bianca Belair, Zelina Vega, Raquel Rodriguez, Shotzi, Io Sky, and a mystery participant will compete in a gauntlet matchup to determine Shayna Baszler's women's world championship opponent at Backlash. Meanwhile, JD McDonough getting back in this matchup with the belly to back. Springboard, McDonough not afraid to take his talents to the air. Like him or not, that was an extremely well-executed moonsault by the Irish ace. And Gargano feeling the brunt of it as McDonough goes back to the well with what works. McDonough picked up that victory two weeks ago over Wesley. That took place live in Philadelphia. Can he bring his talents to Providence, Rhode Island here tonight and continue his success? Well, remains to be seen. As we mentioned, easier said than done when you're in there with somebody who has been as successful overall in his career as Johnny Gargano. A couple of bumps in the road have never been enough to keep down the whole shebang. Maybe tonight is the night Gargano turns it all around at the expense of the Irish ace. J.D. McDonough stacking this offense right now in a boot scrape heard around the world. That is enough to certainly ring your bell. Scramble the eggs of Johnny Gargano. And now McDonough keeping it simple with a snap suplex. Johnny Gargano may be in trouble. JD McDonough, fireman's carry position. Devil inside. That may be coming out to play. Into the cover, and that's it. The unfortunate luck for Johnny Gargano continues to not be on his side. But as for J.D. McDonough, once again rolling in the SmackDown tonight regardless of the opponent and reminding the world to never bet against an ace. Here is your winner, J.D. McDonough. Like it or not, McDonough continues to build momentum. Here on, oh wait a minute! The Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov is back! 
making a beeline, or I should say Dragunov's making a beeline for the man who laid him out a few weeks ago on Velocity. JD McDonough made his bed, and now he's got to sleep in it. The Cruiserweight Champion, the man Dragon, does not forgive, and he certainly does not forget. Wait a minute, the crowd's chant for one more time. Dragunov gonna give it to him. A knockout blow any day of the week. Twice on Friday. McDonough, be careful what you wish for. Two weeks ago here on SmackDown, the head of the table, Roman Reigns returned to the blue brand walking down that aisle for the first time in over two years. But it did not go the way that Roman Reigns thought. Ambushed, shockingly, by the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre. McIntyre making a very clear statement that if Roman Reigns wanted a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship, he was going to have to go through Drew to get it. McIntyre felt disrespected, felt as if Roman Reigns tried to walk over his cold body back in WrestleMania. Roman, of course, retaliated seven nights ago, leading to this backstage brawl, which saw glass shattering left and right, Drew McIntyre being sent to the trainer's room, and Roman Reigns getting the last laugh, at least for now. And we say that because, of course, signed for Backlash two weeks from tomorrow, Roman Reigns returns to action for the first time in over two years as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. These two egos will clash in the middle of San Juan, Puerto Rico. You gotta believe world championship implications will be looming. We are back inside the pavilion in Providence, Rhode Island, but we wanna take you back to last week when AJ Styles, the United States Champion, victorious over Ricochet's buddy, Akira Tozawa, was meant face to face with the human highlight reel himself. Ricochet sending a very clear statement that even though WrestleMania did not go his way, his pursuit of the United States Championship was far, far from over. And that leads us to right here tonight in Providence, Rhode Island. AJ Styles said you want another crack at the gold, you gotta go through the OC to do it. Carl Anderson stepping up to the plate. Can he take down the human highlight reel? Ricochet! And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! The rise of Ricochet has been well documented over the last few months. This is a man who has picked up victories over the likes of the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, Austin Fury, Grayson Waller. Ricochet has lined him up and knocked him down. Unfortunately, his momentum came to a screeching halt back on WrestleMania Sunday. An extraordinary performance by the extraordinary talent that is Ricochet. Unfortunately, AJ Styles was just more phenomenal on that night. Styles retaining the United States Championship that he has held since November at Survivor Series. But just one bump in the road, not to be denied, is Ricochet willing to climb the mountain all over again if it means getting another shot at AJ Styles. Well, it all starts here tonight for one of the faces in my eyes of Friday Night SmackDown, one of the heart and souls of the blue brand, Ricochet. He's getting his heart stomped out by Machine Gun Carl Anderson. But an action-packed night here on SmackDown, and it continues before our very eyes, still moments before we get to our gauntlet match main event, which is going to be extraordinary. So much coming your way over the next few weeks. Again, a week from Monday, April the 8th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Raw and SmackDown talents under one roof for the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery. And of course, all roads lead to Saturday night, April the 13th, another live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, San Juan, Puerto Rico, the Coliseum for Backlash. As for SmackDown here tonight, we look at Ricochet and Carl Anderson, and Ricochet is coming into this matchup with one very clear goal in mind. 
pick up the victory, build some momentum, and step one foot closer to challenging AJ Styles again. And Ricochet showing why he is the human highlight reel of Friday nights. Unfortunately, the shooting star not to be, Machine Gun Carl Anderson did his homework coming into this matchup. I am sure AJ Styles spouted some wisdom upon Anderson before this matchup tonight. Ricochet threw everything he had at the phenomenal one back at WrestleMania. It just wasn't to be. That does not mean another opportunity can't be around the corner if Ricochet can get the job done. Easier said than done with you were in there with a man who has held gold all across the all across the globe, excuse me. We are not just talking tag team championships. Carl Anderson, decorated singles performer all over the world as well. Ricochet has got his hands full tonight, and Machine Gun Carl Anderson going to make Ricochet ever regret standing face to face with Styles seven nights ago. Wait a minute here. Referee a little out of position thanks to Luke Gallo's antics. Unfortunately, no pinfall that time. But now an inside cradle by Carl Anderson. Charles Robinson right in the position. But the matchup progresses nonetheless. Carl Anderson. Little hiccup in the matchup there. Not trying to allow a comeback from Ricochet in a mean uppercut. But I'm sure the top row of this building fell. Ricochet, usually flying through the air, off will, not by force, but that time forced off the apron by the machine gun himself. Ricochet has got to find a way to get back into this matchup, struggling to rev up the engines as Carl Anderson is keeping his foot on the gas pedal. And a boot right to the jaw. Vintage OC's Carl Anderson. Wait a minute here, Ricochet grabbing the boot. That's one way to do it. Nothing pretty about that, but certainly something pretty about that sunset flip. Elects not to go for the pinfall there, I assume, because of how close to the ropes he was. Smart in-ring IQ from Ricochet as he stacks up Anderson. This is why Ricochet is so special. And just like that, the one and only finding a way in this matchup. Beautiful Pele kick. And Carl Anderson now may have his bell rung as Ricochet is starting to, as we mentioned a few moments ago, rev up those engines. And now what does he got in mind? Look at this, beautiful Frankensteiner. In a matter of a few moments, Ricochet has turned this matchup on its head. And now back on the shoulders, look at him go. Anderson may be in trouble. Ricochet stacking the offense. AJ Styles isn't gonna be happy about this, but he's gotta be smiling from that. A kick out by Anderson. I am sure wherever AJ Styles is watching this match from in the backstage area, he is not pleased with the offense that Ricochet is bringing to the fight. Carl Anderson coming out here tonight with one goal in mind. That's to eliminate Ricochet from the United States Championship contention. Ricochet was within moments of winning the United States title back in WrestleMania. And the red, white, blue, and gold dreams almost went up in smoke that time off the spine buster. Signature maneuver by Carl Anderson not to be for the victory. But Ricochet continuing to press forward. And now a cover. Will that do it? Victory not just yet. We got a barn burner on our hands, folks. We are live from Providence, Rhode Island, just over two weeks away from the backlash event in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Ricochet out to prove he is worthy for another United States title go around with the phenomenal AJ Styles. Carl Anderson, on the other hand, one of AJ Styles' good brothers, looking to stop his momentum dead in his tracks. Going to the top. Ricochet's wheels are spinning. Wait a minute here. Going for a Phoenix splash. Anderson out of the way. Crash and burn. 
Ricochet nearly cost himself that time. Better be thanking his lucky stars. He had enough to kick out. A simple sidestep by Carl Anderson. Almost brung this match up to hearing about. And I'm calling high risk, high reward for nothing. Ricochet almost took his own body out that time, but now Carl Anderson is the one in control. I bet Carl Anderson's looking to slow down the pace here and not allow Ricochet to get back into this matchup. Ricochet created some distance. Wait a minute. On the shoulders. Cradle shock. Not done. Springboard. Count it, ref. Anderson still alive. Close call for Ricochet. Cradle shock to Carl Anderson. Moonsault. There he goes again. This time off the top rope. And now back to the opposite corner. Another moonsault. Carl Anderson's feet too cro close to the ropes. Ricochet, however, stacking this offense. High risk, high reward, and it pays him dividends. Shooting star press. What an impressive victory for the human highlight reel. Here is your winner, Ricochet. With his back against the wall, Ricochet proves that he is worthy of another go around with the phenomenal AJ Styles. But will Styles answer the challenge? Will Ricochet get another crack at the United States Championship? Questions that we need answers to, but one thing that is undeniable is Ricochet's pursuit of victory tonight. What a win for Ricochet, taking down the machine gun Carl Anderson here on SmackDown. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. We want to take you back to earlier tonight here in Providence, Rhode Island. Randy Orton, the RKO to Cody Rhodes, threw the announce table that sent Cody out of the arena in an ambulance and to a local hospital. Well, about 15 minutes ago, Randy Orton took to X and had this to say. He said, Cody, this all started when I sent you home in an ambulance. Clearly, this won't end until I do it again. I know you have too much pride to say no, so I will see you at Backlash in an ambulance match. Randy Orton wants the WrestleMania rematch. And from what I understand, ladies and gentlemen, this has been confirmed coming up two weeks from tomorrow. It is gonna be an ambulance match in San Juan, Puerto Rico between the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and the Apex Predator Randy Orton. The situation getting hairy between those two men. But what about what else is coming up at Backlash? WWE Women's Championship on the line, courtesy of Monday Night Raw, as Liv Morgan defends the gold for the first time since WrestleMania against the Buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. Also from Monday Night Raw, the World Tag Team Championship will be defended as Jay and Jimmy, the Usos, defend their gold for the first time since WrestleMania Saturday as they take on Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits. It is a fatal four-way matchup for the WWE Championship. The almighty Bobby Lashley, the megastar, LA Knight, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, and of course the title can't be on the line without the champion himself, Kevin Owens. And from Friday Night SmackDown, we talked about it earlier tonight, but the head of the table, Roman Reigns, in action for the first time in over two years as he takes on the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And of course, SmackDown's main event two weeks from tomorrow, the World Heavyweight Championship. On the line is the Ring General Guther, 
goes up against the badass Braun Breaker. Breaker has been on a roll as of late. Can he keep that momentum going? Heading into Backlash. We're going to find out next week right here on Friday Night SmackDown. It is certainly a tall task waiting for the badass as he is going one on one with the Nigerian giant, Omos. Omos, Breaker, one on one right here on the Blue Brand. And we talked about it last week, but next week is the location. A former WWE superstar going to make their return a part of the SmackDown brand. Who is it going to be? We're going to find out seven nights from tonight. Former star back in the squared circle. And after Guther's victory over Santos Escobar last week, the LWO wants a crack at Imperium. Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde set to go 2v2 against Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium. SmackDown next week looking to be a raucous show on the road to Backlash. The following contest is a gauntlet match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two superstars will start in the ring. When one superstar is eliminated, a new superstar enters. Eliminations can occur by pinfall, submission, or disqualification. The match continues until one superstar remains, and that superstar will be declared the winner! Who will survive the gauntlet? and move on to challenge the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, for the Women's World Championship two weeks from tomorrow in San Juan, Puerto Rico at the live premiere event, Backlash! And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez was riding a red-hot streak of momentum leading up to WrestleMania Sunday. She literally threw everything she had in the tank at the champion Shayna Baszler. Unfortunately for Raquel, her luck ran out in her home state of Texas at WrestleMania. Shayna Baszler retaining the gold a couple of weeks ago, but Raquel going back to the drawing board tonight. If she wants another crack at the Queen of Spades, she's got to run the gauntlet. Six women are going to enter, one of them being a mystery participant. Will Raquel be able to outlast the field and become number one contender? Or will it be this woman who's had a little bit of an issue with Raquel going back to the Elimination Chamber? Shotzi has felt snubbed on SmackDown as of late, but an opportunity to break through here tonight in Providence. Well, you know, Raquel Rodriguez, as we talked about, was really riding a high leading up to WrestleMania, and that was due to some victories right here on SmackDown. One of those coming against the ballsy badass Shotzi. That was a matchup Shotzi threw down the challenge for. Shotzi felt snubs back in January when she was left out of the Elimination Chamber matchup for a chance to go to WrestleMania. Now all this time later, a new season is upon us and Shotzi has a chance to not only take down Raquel Rodriguez and prove she should have been the woman inside Satan's prison all those months ago. But now Shotzi's got a chance to punch her ticket to backlash two weeks from tomorrow and become the number one contender for the women's world title. Of course, Jaina Baszler has held the gold since November the 19th of last year at Survivor Series. She has retained it against Bianca Belair, not once, but twice. And of course, Raquel Rodriguez back at WrestleMania. Shayna Baszler, dare I say, been one of the most dominating women in the WWE for the better part of the last 12 months. But maybe one of the six women competing tonight will be her kryptonite. All remains to be seen. Shotzi coming out here looking more dangerous than ever. A new look from the ballsy badass as she kicks off the gauntlet with Raquel Rodriguez. As we heard in the rules, pinfall or submission, the only way to be eliminated. This match is going to continue until we are down to one woman left standing. But here we go. Spot one and two filled. Raquel and Shotzi. Charles Robinson ready to call this thing right down the middle on the road to San Juan, Puerto Rico. What a show we got coming your way next week. It is going to be action-packed right here on Friday Night SmackDown. The number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, Braun Breaker, going one-on-one -on -one with the Nigerian giant Omos. Should be a colossal matchup in the middle of that ring. 
Also LWO's Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde. Taking on Imperium's Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. Things have not been going the way for LWO as of late. Saul Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio falling at the top of the hour. Maybe Del Toro and Wilde will turn the momentum around next week. And who is going to be the former WWE superstar that is going to be gracing us with their presence all over again? We're going to find out next week here on SmackDown. But let us focus in on the action at hand. Raquel Rodriguez leveling Shotzi that time. Fortunately for Shotzi, it would create some distance momentarily, but now getting caught up by Raquel. We go pinfall here. As we mentioned, anybody who wants to make their way to the finals of this gauntlet is going to have to run the whole thing. If Raquel Rodriguez wants another shot, per se, at Shayna Baszler, she's going to have to defeat five opponents. Same goes for the ballsy badass here. Certainly not the position you want to be in in this style of matchup. Is a gauntlet match, but nonetheless, these two tough women are going to fight tooth and nail just to move on to the next bout. Snake guys, big boot. Raquel Rodriguez looking like a dead man walking in there. Got to wonder if Raquel's tried to add any new tricks to the trade over the last few weeks. If you go back and watch the matchup, as we talked about at WrestleMania, she literally threw everything in her arsenal that has brought her success at Shayna Baszler. Baszler was just the better woman at WrestleMania. Shotzi trying to do her best to survive the powerhouse right now. Easier said than done. Remember what we said a few moments ago, the last time these two women stepped foot in the ring with each other, it was a win for the women in the black and blue. And the one in the orange right now crawling away on the canvas. That's what Shotzi's got to do, trying to create some distance this time. Look at the springboard, Huna Katarana. Got to give credit to Shotzi. May not have the attitude you would like, but you can never discount the talent of the ballsy badass as she slices Raquel in half. Not going for the pinfall just yet. Shotzi wants the exclamation point. Or maybe not, Raquel starting to get to her feet. Raquel knowing she had to avoid that coffin drop by the ballsy badass Shotzi because that could have been it. Now Shotzi smart to go for the pinfall, starts to stack the offense, but if we know anything about Raquel Rodriguez, off his nails, it's gonna take a lot more to keep her down. Again, leveling Shotzi with that lariat. Shotzi may have had a chance there, might have seen her by. Look at Raquel, ragged on the opponent with the neck breaker. First elimination has been eliminated. Shotzi is gone, hit in the showers. Raquel Rodriguez moves on to the next matchup in the gauntlet. Oh man, and her opponent, none other than the genius of the sky, Eo Sky, another person Raquel has stepped foot in the squared circle with over the late, over, uh, as of late, if we can get it out here on SmackDown. And Eo Sky, somebody who has seemingly always been on the tail of Raquel here on the blue brand, especially the last 12 months, trying to break through and become champion. Now an opportunity for both women tonight. And the interesting thing as this gauntlet match progresses is, of course, the opponent who already wrestled previously, gonna already have that fatigue set in, the pain and suffering from the previous matchup. Raquel Rodriguez, although hot and heavy, although the powerhouse cannot be the favorite as she goes one-on-one -on -one with EO Sky. As you see immediately, EO. Taking things to the sky that her can run on her own right. Raquel's just got to do what brought her to the dance and do what brought her to this second matchup in the gauntlet. Be the powerhouse. Eo Sky loves to take things to the air. If Eo starts wrestling her style of matchup, and I think we know who might move on in the gauntlet. There's Raquel once again slowing down the speed and more agile competitor. I'd say Io is the favorite since Raquel already wrestled here, but take nothing away from Raquel Rodriguez. It may be anybody's ball game as this matchup progresses. Drop down, leave Frog, and a drop kick takes out the knee. Io Sky looking to make her mark here on Friday night. SmackDown once and for all. Now Raquel into the corner. Oh, Charles Robinson getting caught in the crosshairs. Eo Sky, what has she got in mind here? 
Just trying to wear down Raquel Rodriguez. You think Ia would rev up the engines? Wait a minute, Tope Suicida, but miscalculates it. Raquel Rodriguez better be thanking her lucky stars. I was about to say, you think Io Sky would rev up the engine, seemingly the pace of the matchup slowing down a bit. But now Raquel Rodriguez back in control after that misstep by Io. Don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing does not always pay these superstars dividends. And Raquel Rodriguez wreaking the benefit of that costly mistake. This capacity crowd here in the pavilion, Providence, Rhode Island on their feet as they are witnessing the number one contender's gauntlet matchup. Five superstars confirmed one mystery spot after Dakota Kai taken out with injury last week. Shotzi already eliminated, leaving us with a total of five. Who will challenge Shayna Baszler a two weeks from tomorrow? My goodness. Power bomb from the top. The strength of Raquel, not even a one count that time. The guts of EO Sky. Backlash coming your way Saturday night, April the 13th, two weeks from tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is no doubt gonna be an extraordinary event. So much action already signed to take place in San Juan, Puerto Rico. You are not gonna wanna miss it. Look at EO Sky, try to do anything she can to ensure her number one contendership. Stacking the offense that time. Signature strikes. Io Sky, although they call her the genius of the sky, can be very versatile in that ring when she needs to be. That strong style all the way from Japan to here to Providence tonight. Into the cover she goes. Will that chop down Raquel Rodriguez? Not just yet. And these two women really doing a number on each other here. And you got to wonder what is going to be left in the tank for whoever moves on to the next bout in this gauntlet. If Raquel Rodriguez can somehow survive, you got to think her tank's going to be running on E. If Io Sky can somehow survive, you got to think she's going to be nearing the same thing after doing all she can to take down Raquel. Unfortunately for Io Sky, that moment is not going to be right now. Muscling up the stronger competitor, but Raquel Rodriguez finding it within her to get the shoulder off the canvas. You saw how much Raquel fought. Scratched and clawed at WrestleMania. It just wasn't her night. But she tried to fight back from the best of it that Shayna Baszler had to offer at WrestleMania. Gonna have to keep that same mentality in this gauntlet matchup and hope that if she meets the Queen of Spades all over again, that the result will be much different. Here comes Raquel with the fallaway slam. Io Sky now. The prey of Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel in pursuit. Eyes locked on the opponent. And it could be a Tahana Bomb to Io Sky. Will Raquel move on in the gauntlet? Not just yet. Io Sky is still alive. Raquel Rodriguez has got to be racking her brain right now. Raquel had to think that was it. And either way, you spin it again. If Raquel finds a way to move on, how much is going to be left in the tank? If Io survives, you got to believe so much was taken out of her off that Tahana bomb. This is the grit and glory of the gauntlet matchup as it returns here on SmackDown tonight with such high stakes hanging in the balance. Io going for that Insiguri. I don't think she got all of it, but clearly got enough. So Raquel into the corner and a drop kick. Io dropping the boots on the chest. Io Sky survived the Tahana Bomb, but will she be able to keep Raquel down? Does Io have enough left in the tank to stack the offense? Io's got to do what she does best. She's got to take things to the air. Why she's got her opponent down and out as she scales the ropes. The genius of the sky over the moon. So nobody home. Raquel somehow able to avoid. And now a second Tahana Bomb. Io Sky crash and burn. Tahana Bomb equals victory. Has been eliminated. Raquel moves on in the gauntlet matchup.
But who's next? Oh, man. Business just picked up the EST of the WWE. Bianca Belair hustling towards the ring and Bianca and Raquel, no strangers to each other. These two women fought inside the Elimination Chamber back in January. Raquel tapped out Bianca on that night to go to WrestleMania. She earns a singles victory over Bianca here on SmackDown. 48 hours prior to that, does Raquel have the number of the EST? Look at Raquel here, not wasting any time. It could be an upset in the middle of a gauntlet matchup, not just yet. Bianca coming in fresh as a daisy, looking at a wounded Raquel Rodriguez, but somehow Raquel already trying to turn the tables. Bianca Belair, hoisting Raquel in the air. Not many women gonna be able to do that, but Bianca Belair is just a different breed. Raquel might have met her match. Bianca already a difficult opponent to beat. Former champion in her own right. Now add the fatigue of the first two encounters and Raquel Rodriguez has got to be on her final legs. Bianca Belair coming in at the 11th hour and maybe about to send Raquel back to the locker room once and for all. Look at her hustling into the cover. Nothing fancy, just issuing a beatdown. But Raquel Rodriguez still into this matchup. Man, tensions are high here in the pavilion. We are live from Providence, Rhode Island, here on Friday Night SmackDown. Two weeks from tomorrow, we come to San Juan, Puerto Rico for Backlash, where the Women's World Championship will be on the line, and it could very well be one of these two women challenging Shayna Baszler. Two women very familiar with the Queen of Spades game. Maybe one more go around with the champion will be all she wrote. All remains to be seen as Raquel Rodriguez just trying to get to her feet right here, but Cal or excuse me, Bianca Belair hustling up. Sidestep Raquel Rodriguez. We said it before, we'll say it again. She better be thanking her lucky stars. Big time Lariat, reversal. Man, how much does Raquel have left in the tank? It can barely be anything. Trying to muscle up Bianca Belair, who's still gotta be feeling quite fresh after entering this matchup just a few minutes ago. Sidestep, counter there, tackling Raquel Rodriguez down to the canvas. Bianca into the ropes, could be going for that signature split-legged splash. Nobody does it, like the EST. And that's it. Unfortunately for Raquel Rodriguez, her road to redemption comes to a screeching halt here in Providence, Rhode Island. Bianca Belair eliminating Raquel Rodriguez now turns her sights to the LWO's Zelina Vega. Could be a huge opportunity for Vega. Vega no stranger herself to Shayna Baszler as well as Baszler's protege, Zoe Stark. We'll talk all about that in moments, but here we go. Let's set the stage. The gauntlet match continues. There is still one more opponent to walk down the aisle. Who will make it to the final two? Will it be Zelina Vega from the LWO, or will it be the EST, Bianca Belair? Zelina trying to rally here in Providence, Rhode Island. As we mentioned, she is very familiar with the champion. Took on Shayna Baszler about a month ago here on SmackDown, leading up to WrestleMania. And of course, that was unfortunately a failed attempt on that night. Selena tried to target Zoe Stark after that alliance was formed, and Zoe Stark knocked out Selena Vega's lights on Saturday night's main event back in February. Selena's got a score to settle with the champion and her protege. Could tonight be the night that Selena punches the biggest ticket of her career? Not if Bianca Belair has anything to say about it. Selena walking down to the ring tonight. Wearing her Puerto Rican colors, but it may not do her any luck. Bianca back of the rope, split-legged splash again. That is what sends Raquel Rodriguez back to the locker room moments ago. But not enough on Zelina. Bianca was able to take down Raquel with that splash. After that was Raquel's third matchup in the middle of this gauntlet. Obvious fatigue setting in, but Selena Vega much more fresh than the previous competitor. 
one of these women, as well as the final participant. Three possible superstars left to fight Baszler at Backlash for the Women's World Championship. Who is it going to be? It's Leah Vega, nice counter that time. Bianca the obvious, stronger of these two women. Selena trying to use her speed and agility. Unfortunately, Bianca was one step ahead. These women playing a game of cat and mouse. Who's gonna get the upper hand? Bianca Belair using her strength to her advantage, taking down Selena Vega. Bianca a full package inside of that ring, but it's been some time since she has held championship gold here in the WWE. Over a year, almost two years since she's held singles gold, about a year since she's held the women's tag team titles. Bianca hungry for competition and hungry for gold. What a maneuver by the EST. Unfortunately, it's not enough to cross the finish line. Man, how close was that? Just moments ago, we referenced how Bianca is a full package inside of that ring. She is showcasing it here tonight in Providence. Selena Vega somehow survives. Vega sending Bianca into the corner. Will the LWO's luck turn around tonight by hands of the first lady of Latino World Order? So now powerbomb. Amazing resilience shown by Vega, but Bianca gets the shoulder up again. Now, I am sure these two women have a great deal of respect for each other behind the curtain, but respect goes out the window tonight when a championship matchup is hanging in the balance two weeks from tomorrow. What does Zelina got to do to take down Bianca Belair? That is the question that is at hand. Bianca, obvious, has had more success throughout her career in WWE, and that's not a knock on Zelina Vega. That's just calling it as it is. Zelina may be the underdog here. Vega recently aligning with the LWO back at the end of January and February, looking for a new leash on her career, looking for an opportunity for herself. Tonight could be the night that she takes that next step, levels up. Missile dropkick misses wildly. Bianca Belair able to avoid. That was a thunderous drop right to the canvas, and Bianca Belair forcefully sends her down again. Bianca, collar and elbow, sending Zelina into the corner. Whereas the EST got left in the tank. Fatigue started to set in now for Bianca Belair. Look at the strength from Bianca. Something that has brought her so much success throughout her career. Able to dig down deep. Muscle up her opponents. Zelina down again. Back and forth these two women go as there is still one more participant waiting behind the curtain. Who is it going to be? Who will make it to the final two in this gauntlet matchup? Selena Vega again. Nice shot to Bianca in the corner, but can she capitalize? That is the question that is at hand. She's had Bianca down a couple of times here, but not able to keep the EST down. That is something easier said than done. Selena Vega, nice maneuver there. Nice senton. The LWO's first lady has got the EST down. Dare I say, this Providence, Rhode Island crowd may be in the corner of Bianca tonight. Face buster! Into the cover! Will that do it? To move on to the final two! Bianca Belair still alive! Bianca still into this matchup! You see how long it's taken for Bianca to get to her feet. Selena Wilf, the Meteora. Another senton that time. Bianca Belair may be fading here. Selena stacking the offense. Looking for a code red. Beautifully executed by Selena Vega. Into the cover. Will that be all she wrote? It is. What an upset. Selena Vega eliminating Bianca Belair from this matchup. The next participant wins, and look who's back here on Friday Night SmackDown. Taking the sixth and final spot, the shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox. We haven't seen Knox in about a year here in WWE. Missed last year's WrestleMania when she was previously listed to be on the show due to ACL and MCL injury. Tegan Knox is back here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown.
But now she's got Selena Vega. And obviously wounded Zelina Vega. Will the Fresh returning to action? Tegan Knox be able to take down Vega in the middle of this gauntlet matchup. One of these two women are going to San Juan, Puerto Rico. One of them will challenge Shayna Baszler for the gold. Oh, man. Man, how do you plan for somebody like Tegan Knox? Originally was supposed to be Dakota Kai. Dakota going down to injury last week by hands of Shayna Baszler. Tegan Knox getting the call on her way back. Now here on Friday Night SmackDown, Ken Knox making a successful return. Tegan Knox again hasn't been in here in the WWE in about a year. Was riding a high for quite a few months, challenging for the WWE Women's title. Was on her way to last year's WrestleMania to challenge for the Women's Tag Team titles with all tag team partners, then was alongside Shotzi, who we saw earlier in this matchup. Tegan went down with multiple knee injuries and has been out ever since. But now the shiniest wizard back here tonight and looking to make an impact in the middle of this matchup. Almost had Vega this time, not to be. Selena Vega was just in there with one of the toughest women superstars to ever grace the squared circle, that being Bianca Belair. How does she have enough left in the tank? Tegan Knox stacking the offense, and this is exactly what Tegan needs to do. A little bit of a size and strength advantage, and obviously a striker inside of that ring. A mean, shining wizard that'll knock anybody's lights out. See if Vega's got enough left in the tank. Springboard going for the moonsault. The time she turned away, not enough time to realize Tegan was already out of harm's way. Wait a minute, back and forth, inside cradle. Selena gonna steal it here. Another upset, not just yet. Man, what a great main event we got on hand. We started with six, we are down with two in this gauntlet matchup to determine the number one contender for Shayna Baszler's Women's World Championship. Selena showing a few signs of life, but it has mostly been Tegan Knox controlling the pace since she marched down the aisle. Another strike by Tegan. Knox gonna be a game changer here on SmackDown. You gotta believe now that she's made her return. But will that landscape start to shift here tonight with a victory for the returning shiniest wizard? Knox muscling up Vega. Look at Tegan, not rushing into the pinfall that time when she could have absolutely made the attempt. Let the offense stack. That is something we have said multiple times in this matchup so far. And it's because it's the truth, especially in this gauntlet matchup. Where you really got to focus on wearing down your opponent. Lucky for Tegan, as fresh as she could be, and nobody awaiting on the other side of the curtain. Just a date with destiny two weeks from tomorrow. Final two in this matchup. Tegan might have got caught as Alina Vega with a takedown. Springboard, this time lands the moonsault. Does the first lady of the LWO. Zelina looking to make a comeback here. By hook or by crook, an underdog of the gauntlet. Arm drag to Tegan. Into the cover, goes Vega. Will that be enough? Not just yet. Tegan Knox, obviously, as we continue to mention the fresher competitor, Vega's gonna have to do a number and dish out her best offense if she wants to punch her ticket to San Juan, Puerto Rico. And again with the head scissors takedown. Tegan Knox finding out firsthand that Selena Vega's been getting better, one match at a time, trying to climb the ranks here on SmackDown. With her recent issues with Baszler and her protege, Zoe Stark, this is a matchup that maybe nobody could say Selena Vega is hungrier than them all. Knox in the corner. Wait a minute, Vega goes behind after being taken out of the corner. Submission hold once more. Imagine if Tegan Knox taps out upon her return here on Friday Night SmackDown. Gotta admit, it'd be a humiliating loss to go out that way, but Knox with something left in the tank. Couple of knees. That was a mean shot. Knox coming unglued. Here she goes. Down she goes. 
Tegan Knox not looking for an unsuccessful return to action tonight. Over a year on the shelf, looking to come back swinging. Oh, wait a minute. Tegan Knox with a jump slam on Selena Vega into the cover. Charles Robinson calling it as he sees it. There's the two, and it's not going to be a three. Charles calling a shoulder off the canvas. Man, how close is this matchup? Tegan Knox with her signature choke slam. Selena survives. Create in distance. Take down once more. Selena. Kick to the gut, wait a minute here. Code Red! It took down Bianca. Will it take down the shiniest wizard? That it does! The LWO's Selena Vega getting a chance to settle the score two weeks from tomorrow. Here is your winner. The first lady of the LWO, Zelina Vega. Dare I say the underdog. An upset victory tonight. She is on her way to Puerto Rico to take on the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, for the Women's World Championship. Vega, Baszler, one-on-one -on -one at Backlash.